Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey I'm here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield moveset video guide on how to use Stone Journer. Now, this Pokemon is really, really cool. And if you guys missed any of my previous moveset video guys, feel free to check out the playlist down below. As well, stay tuned for later today. I'll be featuring this Pokemon in a Pokemon Showdown Live. And soon I'll be featuring it in a Wi-Fi battle as well. Now this Pokemon has a pretty nice HP attack and defense stat, 100, 125, and 135. And unfortunately it has very, very, very bad special defense. But it's fine because it has a pretty decent speed tier at base 70 despite being a stone wall. And it's actually a really cool support mon when it comes to max raids and of course doubles because of its power spot ability that basically boosts the base power of this Pokemon's allies by 1.3. So if you're playing max raids, I've actually found a bit of success with Stone Journer. Of course, that has a lot to do more with in-game than it does have to do with competitive. But yeah, uh, a really cool thing about this Pokemon is that people don't know it learned Heat Crash, and Heat Crash is based on weight, and this Pokemon weighs almost 1,200 pounds. For example, a Heat Crash versus Feral Thorn, physically defensive, max defense, max HP, does 100% minimum with an adamant life orb because it is 100 base power coming off of 125 attack. So that's a cool thing about this Pokemon, its ability to beat um, Pokemon that uh, either set up rocks or uh, deal with the hazards. Another cool thing is obviously being pure rock type, uh, it doesn't have that four times weakness if it was a rock and steel for example to extra drills earthquake so it can actually tank an earthquake and can knock it back out with earthquake and again also threatening defoggers like mandibuzz with a life orb adamant stab stone edge so the first set we have of course what i just described uh the offensive stealth rocking set heat crash as i mentioned is great for um it's great for Feral Thorn, and Earthquake obviously threatens Pokemon like Toxapex for a 2-hit KO, and Stone Edge threatens those Flyers. Uh, Heat Crash also does just some solid damage in general. Uh, I like this set a lot because it basically, as I mentioned before, can get up Stealth Rock and doesn't really have to worry about um, most defensive cores. Like Rotom doesn't appreciate coming in on a Life Orb Stone Edge, and it's faster than Defensive Rotom, and Offensive Rotom dies after Stealth Rock. Uh, guaranteed to a Life Orb Stone Edge. So Stone Journey can be a really cool surprise Pokemon if you're looking for a unique Stealth Rocker. Uh, the next set we do have is the Rock Polish set, and this attempts to use Stone Journey as a Rock Polish Sweeper. We're still running Adamant because Adamant uh, were faster than uh, Choice Scarf Rotom, which is a great speed tier to hit. Uh, though, honestly, you could go Jolly uh, as well. And I believe Jolly can let you outspeed uh, Choice Scarf Darmanitan, if I am not mistaken. Uh, but the idea behind this is boosting that pretty decent speed at base 70 uh, and uh, just abusing its strong attacks. As I already mentioned before, we have Heat Crash for the Feral Thorn and Rock Posh and Stone Edge uh, doubling its speed. But yeah, Adamant can be used and that will allow you to outspeed, um, again, Choice Scarf Rotom, which is a very, very, very popular Choice Scarf Pokemon running around and like I said Jolly does outspeed Choice Scarf Darmanitan um, and again using Stone Journer as a sweeper more than as an offensive rocker uh, I'm a big fan again of this Pokemon because of that just huge HP and special defense uh, excuse me not special defense no no special defense at all but that huge HP and defensive uh, stat just allowing it to take most neutral moves um, but really really you do have to watch out for special attacks coming out at Stone Journer and the last set is basically a choice band set uh, abusing that incredible attack stat, as I already mentioned multiple times, and just going for all-out powerful moves. Stone Edge, Earthquake, Heat Crash, and Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam is cool versus um, those defensive teams that rely on Pokemon like Underwear, Clefable, and, and Sylveon maybe to basically sponge hits from Pokemon like Hydreigon, for instance. So uh, it's also just good versus... Um, it's just a strong move in general just to have. Uh, the majority of this Pokemon's attacks are coming out incredibly powerful because of its heavy weight. So Heavy Slam and Heat Crash for the most part are decently powered uh, as well. And their mechanics work exactly the same. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Heat Crash and Heavy Slam, basically they have more power up until 120 base power the heavier the user is than the target. So again, we're running an adamant nature on this and it's so good for defensive Rotom, uh, Corviknights that are not running max speed, um, 
and just those bulky builds that are running around with Feral Thorn, Toxapex, Mandibuzz, maybe Sylveon or Clefable running around. So a few good teammates for Stone Journer because this Pokemon gets rid of Pokemon like uh, Feral Thorn, for instance. I think Rotom Wash is a fantastic partner, allowing uh, Rotom Wash just to Volt Switch around pretty freely in Hydro Pump without really having to worry about giving up too much momentum. And by that I mean if you Hydro Pump on a, uh, a Feral Thorn, it's able to come in, it's able to either knock off an item or or Leech Seed around or set up Stealth Rock. So Stone Journer basically learning those is so cool. And um, weakening or even getting rid of a Toxapex can be really nice for uh, a Pokemon uh, like uh, Dragapult, for instance, which might struggle. I think Specs, I think Specs Dragapult plus Life Orb Stone Journer work really well together because Dragapult's a Pokemon that if it doesn't Dynamax and it's running Choice Specs, it has to really worry about what moves it's clicking. For the most part, it will be clicking Shadow Ball, and even though it's strong, it only has base 100 Special Attack. Uh, it's, so it's not doing so much to physical walls, but especially Mandibuzz, right? Mandibuzz is a giant threat to Dragapult unless it's running like a Choice Specs Thunderbolt. And even then, it's only a 2 hit KO. So Stone Journer can be something that can actually weaken that. And the big thing about, about this Pokemon, as I mentioned before, is that its ability to threaten Defoggers and Rapid Spinners is so cool. Um, even Pokemon like, for example, Cinderace, which are running Court Change. Uh, this is a Pokemon that Cinderace is not going to stay in front of with that base 125 um, attack. And another cool partner is Sub Hydreigon plus Stone Journer. Uh, while Substitute Hydreigon can deal with most bulky Pokemon on its own, uh, it's also able to come in, or, or even just Hydreigon in general, is able to resist the water moves coming out at Stone Journer and the grass type attacks as well, as well as having Levitate for the ground type attacks coming out at Stone Journer if that's something you choose. And Hydreigon uh, also appreciates the ability of Stoner, uh, Stone Journer to deal with the fairy types as well as Mandibuzz. So it just pairs really, really well together. And I really feel like another just good type of core of this is just using Volturn. Basically what Volturn is, is having multiple Pokemon or at least Pokemon with Volt Switch and U-Turn. Uh, and those are just momentum gaining moves. And a lot of the times Pokemon that come in on those moves, uh, for example, Ferrothorn will always find itself coming in on Volt Switch. Um, Toxpex will find itself coming in on Galarian Darmanitan's U-Turn. So having those either slow or fast pivots to be able to get in this wall to just do so much damage is very, very much appreciated for this Pokemon. But yeah, guys, as I mentioned, I will be having uh, a shoot on live up later today on Stone Journer, as well as hopefully Wi-Fi battles coming super soon this week. Another just a little update. I am um, I'm recording this at the time that I actually finished my 252 hour marathon with A Drive and and Tyler, and it was absolutely fantastic. We've gotten so many new subs, and hi again, welcome to the channel. Uh, I know you guys uh, love these videos or love these type of videos, and um, I'm just excited to be able to uh, help you learn competitive or even just give you some sort of tips and tricks on that. I think the only other option that this Pokemon does have, by the way, is potentially like a substitute set. Uh, so I, and I, I didn't put it in, I didn't really put it in uh, an, an actual count, but like a substitute uh, Heat Crash set or even substitute plus like body press body press is another move if you don't want to run superpower because i didn't mention superpower but superpower is an option but body press is based on the, the the user's defense so it is something that a base 135 stone journer can actually take advantage of but uh yeah that is all i have for you guys today thank you for watching like i said i have plenty of other moveset videos uh, on the channel feel free to check them out feel free to also check out um, my guide to getting your Pokemon to level 100 and getting them competitive ready. Also, you can check out my guide to team building in Pokemon Sword and Shield that I did with my buddy BKC. Those links are down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.